new day today. Watch. Excuse you. Excuse me, what? Excuse you. Say hi. Brogue. Brogue in. Brogue in. Okay. Hello all, good morning. It is Saturday morning. I don't think I'm uploading this on Saturday, but I'm filming on a Saturday. And I just figured I would bring you guys along for a little vlog. I've come to the realization that I'm not really a vlog channel. It's very difficult for me to vlog because honestly, on the weekends, most of the time I'm just sitting in these four walls and catching up on all the things that I can't do during the week because I do work full time and then I commute on top of working full time. So. I'm gonna show you what a Saturday in my life is like because Saturdays for both Mike and I are usually kind of hectic. I feel like I look forward to the weekend like every week and then Saturday comes and it's like I blink and Saturday's over. But I am gonna vlog here and there. So if you guys like vlogs, let me know down below. Give this video a thumbs up and I will try to work them into my routine a little bit more. So today on the agenda, I'm sitting down. I'm gonna have a couple cups of coffee because I'm not a morning person and it kind of, it takes my body a lot of fuel to get it going in the morning. It's 8.30, I'm gonna have a couple cups of coffee, then we're gonna go in the basement, I'm gonna do a video, I'll show you the YouTube video that I'm gonna work out to today. After that, I'm gonna gather some makeup products because I'm then driving 35 minutes to get my hair done, I'm getting my hair cut and colored, then I'm going to my aunt's and I'm gonna do her makeup for her holiday party that she has tonight, and I'm really excited because I really wanna do my aunt's makeup. My aunt has followed me along on my makeup journey like since the very beginning. I feel like my aunt played a really big role in my makeup obsession. My aunt was always like a makeup addict. Like if you, I would go to her apartment and she would just have like drawers and drawers and drawers of makeup. So I'm gonna go do my aunt's makeup. I'm really excited for that. I'm gonna bring my camera, show you guys some snippets. So I'm gonna, my first cup of coffee was way better than this one. I did something wrong with this cup of coffee. And then after that, I need to get my nails done. If you can see my nails, whoa. These are inspired by In The Fro, if you follow Victoria McGrath. She is not only a fellow YouTuber here on YouTube, but she is a really huge fashion blog. Um, she's based out of the UK and she has been getting her nails done like this. And I watch her YouTube channel and I really love her nails. So she inspired me, so I'm probably gonna go and get this French off and I have black French tips and I'm probably gonna do red French tips for Christmas and then I'm gonna get like a red petty. So you guys will see that. And then I think Mike and I might go to dinner later, but TBD, I mean, honestly, him and I are gonna be out of the house all day separately. He's running around getting a bunch of like errands done for him and the, and the house and for myself. And then, you know, I'm just going for a day of pampering. So. Brogy, are you ready to work out? Brogita. Come on, let's go. Let's go. You have anything to say? No, you just want to be petted. Okay, I pet you. Look at your face, you're so cute. Who's a little baby angel? You are. Yes, you. Even though you're bad. You're a bad boy, but you're so cute, I love you. That's what I get. Oh, I love you. To the basement we go. Come on, my little workout buddy. Lead the way. Uh, I also got into hand washing. That's like a new thing, um, a new adventure. So this is the gym that Michael set up for us. Pretty much me though, because he goes to the gym. I canceled my gym membership. This is the gym that Miguel set up for us. The elliptical that I never use. The punching bag that I use sometimes, put a TV down here, but it's not hooked up. So I have just been working out off of my laptop. This is also Brogan's headquarters. This is where he sleeps at night because he's not allowed to sleep in our bed, sadly. We're working on that, right buddy? My buddy, I love you. Oh look, hello, wave hello. Hi, hi everyone. This is where Brogan sleeps at night because he's not allowed to sleep in our bed and he's the type of cat where he needs to be clearly up my butt at all times. My little workout buddy, I love you. Okay, let's pick out our video. What do you wanna to do today? Hi, hi everyone. You're so cute. He's really bad though, oh my God. Okay, let's pick out what we're doing. All right, so in case you guys didn't get the memo from any of my previous 
vlogs, which I don't do that many, so you probably missed it. I do Sydney Cummings. She is a workout YouTube channel. She uploads a video every day, so I feel like it's easy to follow along, but I mean, sometimes I don't have the time to do 50 minutes. Sometimes I'm not in the mood to do Tabata, and I find like when you're working out and trying to get on a workout schedule, you really need to listen to your body and what it is you're up for that day. So last night, Mike and I, we did the 40 minute full body strength and conditioning together. I feel like my lower body is really sore, not so much my upper body. So today I'm gonna do 40 minute arms and abs. What's up guys, this is Sydney. I said arms and abs circuit workout. So grab your dumbbells and let's get started. guys Woo! workout is done I did stretch stretching is very important but um, I'm in a rush and I didn't hit play when I was stretching so I need to go run upstairs I need to shower really quick and then we'll be off and on our way to go get my hair done that workout was pretty good honestly I'm gonna give it to Sid like credit to Sid I never really had upper body strength but now um, I have a lot more than I've ever had before because of her workouts that's nice I ain't mad at that. Well, my goal isn't really to like lose weight for the wedding, but I want like a nice upper body because Mike and I were getting married in the summer and my arms are gonna be showing in my dress. And honestly, my girlfriend Megan got married this past summer and her arms looked amazing in her wedding dress. And like, it really inspired me. So, oh, Alana, I forgot. I finished watching her recent video and forgot to turn off my laptop, so I guess she's been playing in the background. Oh my god, I love that picture. Do you see that? That picture in her background? Oh my god, that's epic. Where did she buy that? I'll have to do some research. Maybe she said it somewhere. Okay. Onward and outward, my friends. I gotta get this day a going. All right, we're showered. Now we're going into the closet and what to wear. I'm thinking something comfy because I'm getting my hair cut and colored. So I feel like sitting in that chair is never fun. So let's find some leggings because when us chicks say comfy, we mean the leggings. Okay, so in case you didn't get the gist, um, I'm clearly running late because I'm always running late. So I wanna show you guys my quick, super quick skincare routine that I do in the mornings when I'm running late because I'm not a morning person and I'm always late. Not a morning person, but chronically late. So I'm just gonna show you the products that I rely on. So I always use a nice serum. This is a Sobel, I think that's how you say it, Skin RX Vitamin C serum to brighten and glow the skin. And it really does work. The interesting thing about the serum though is that it's like, kind of like a cream. It's not so much a serum texture, but you're just supposed to rub this into the skin in circular motions. And then I usually do like a pump and a half. And I just get this everywhere. And I like to focus it, I put it everywhere, but I like to focus it on the center of my face because that's where I need the most brightening. I'm gonna brush my teeth and then we'll move on to the next step. Multitasking. I always use an eye cream. I highly believe in eye creams. This is the Gold Fade and MD Bright Eyes. I just put this around the eye and the orbital bone and tap it in. Exuviance egg, egg. <laughs> Exuviance Age Reverse Day Repair Sunscreen with SPF 30. I use honestly about two pumps. I always, whenever I leave the house, you need a sunscreen. And if you're gonna use vitamin C serum, which I just used, you need to use sunscreen because vitamin C makes your skin sensitive to the sun. Then I'm gonna put some down my neck. And then voila, I did wash my face using the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. But that is my four product quick skincare routine when I need to get out the door. I'm just gonna brush my hair out and I will brush my brows up and then we're out the door. This is a mood, this is my mood today. La oh, hello, lax, relax. All right, I gotta go. 
This is the before. How sexy I look. I know. Too sexy. But we did full highlights for the first time. Um, usually I do partial, so I'm curious to see how this goes. But I wanted the underneath of my hair to be a little bit blonder because I just feel like I'm so blonde up top and then underneath it's dark brown. And I kind of look like a skunk. So I want to look less like Pepe Le Pew. Is that his name? Pepe Le Pew? Yeah. And um, more fabulous. So to be continued, stay tuned. Okay. It is like so many hours later and I had so many malfunctions today. It's not even funny. Let's talk about my day today. I feel very um, lost and confused and very scatterbrained because today was wild. I feel like this is why I never vlog because my days just, I lose them. Like today, I have no idea what happened. It usually takes like 35 minutes to get to the hair salon from my house. Um, and it took me 55 minutes to get there, which made me like 15 minutes late to my appointment. So I sit down, I don't know what happened and my hair just like took forever. It took way longer than normal. He gave me like way more highlights than normal and he gave me some under here as well, which I like. I don't know. And then if you look up here, there's like streaks of orange in here. So he did my hair and he told me like, oh, it's a little orange, but that's because like we went so blonde this time that it might break, like your hair might break. And like he also, I appreciate it. My hairstylist knows that I'm trying to grow my hair out for the wedding, like my hair has gotten really long and I understand and I appreciate that he didn't want to break my hair, but like, I also had no idea I was like going this blonde or it doesn't not look that blonde. I feel like this is like a lot blonder than I usually am. Let me know down below in the comments. Like I feel like, I'm so blonde, like, and I'm not hating it. I feel like I just need to get used to it. Like I do like myself with lighter hair, but I don't know. So that was the first thing. Okay. Then I left the hair salon. I was driving to my aunt's. I was supposed to get to my aunt's like mm, at three o'clock, 2.55, three o'clock. So I call her. I'm like, I'm going to be there in literally 10 minutes. Cause she doesn't live far away from the hair salon. Only for the second that I hung up, the second that I hung up the phone, I'm in standstill traffic. And I hear like sirens, police cars, like buzzing by me and there's an accident. And I sat in traffic for like 20 minutes. So showed up to my aunt's at like 3.15, had to leave at 3.30 to make my appointment that is back home, which is a half an hour away from my aunt. So I literally did my aunt's eyes and I did her brows. And like by eyes, I just did the eyeshadow. I didn't put mascara on. I didn't even get to put liner on. Like it was wild and I did her brows and I was like in and out of her house. Honestly, like it felt like I wasn't even there because in all reality, I really wasn't. Thank God there was no traffic on the way home because I swear to you, I would have lost my effing mind. Got my nails done. This is what my nails look like. I think I told you guys this was like the vibe I was going for. I'm keeping the French tip vibe and I'm just gonna change out the colors. So this time I did red. It literally took me two hours to get my nails done. Two freaking hours. And my nail salon is the type of nail salon and let me know if you feel me because I'm very curious. I make an appointment every time I go. I never do walk-ins because they are always so busy. I make an appointment, but every time I make an appointment, like today my appointment was at four, I got there at 3.57, okay? And I sat there until 4.15 for someone to start soaking my nails. Like I'm always sitting there for 15 to 20 minutes before they take me. So today was just a whirlwind, honestly. Um, I've decided that I'm gonna pick up this vlog tomorrow. I kind of just want to have a glass of wine and eat dinner with Mike and just chill out and like have like a nice night of like Christmas music and sitting by the Christmas tree because girl friend is about to lose her mind. Like I'm just so anxious and honestly, it's 6 11. I didn't have lunch, I didn't have breakfast. The only thing that I've had today was two water bottles and a like five coffees so I need to chill so I think for the remainder of the night I'm gonna chill if anything changes I will definitely whip out my camera oh. right right I took one of your beers what what <laughs> it's fine I spilled wine everywhere which I actually got on camera but you didn't see it and that's all that matters <laughs> Wow, so cute it hurts me. 
Hello. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. It's a beautiful morning. Yeah. Let's see if I can pour the coffee and not spill it like I spilled the wine last night. I have my coffee. Brogy, did you have your tuna? Was it good? Yes? Hmm? And everyone's happy. I'm going to do a 50 minute workout today. And again, I'm doing a Sydney workout. I will link both of the workouts that I did both yesterday and today. Today, I think I'm going to do a 50 minute lower body hit workout. I would typically do a 30 minute workout on Sunday. Sundays are usually like my shorter workout days, but this week I have two holiday parties. So I feel like I need to burn a little bit extra calories because I don't hold back when it comes to eating. That's one thing. Um, I don't do. And girlfriend is looking very blonde today. I feel like a lion with this blonde mane. Okay, let's hop into it. I'll show you some clips of my workout. Maybe inspire you to work out today. Who knows? Maybe I'll do some good. All right, let's get into it because I don't even want to do it. minute workout is done on to the rest of our day after i worked out i showered and i self tanned because i just feel like my hair is so light that i feel like i kind of like look a little washed out and look like super pale so i did a little self tan if you're interested to see the products that i use when i self tan i did film a portion in one of my vlogs of me self tanning i'll link it up here so now i'm gonna sit down i'm gonna film a video and i think i'm gonna do a cool toned makeup look something just like festive but not so warm toned i kind of just want to do something different so i'm gonna go ahead and film that guys i did my makeup and i'm so happy with how my makeup came out <laughs> i guess i should show you where you can see this lighting is not the best lighting, but I just, I'm in my closet because I need to get changed because Mike and I are going to his cousin's house, but I filmed a cool toned holiday makeup look. This isn't like necessarily just holiday. I mean, you can wear this for New Year's. You can wear this like all winter. I'll link it up here because I'm pretty sure I'm going to upload that video before I upload this video, but it's so pretty. I love a green liner. And can you see how like sparkly that liner is? Oh, come on. You were doing so well, camera. You were doing so well. You see how like sparkly that liner is? Oh my God, it's such a good liner. Okay, um, I'm off. I need to change really quickly, but I love this top. I got this from H&M. I wonder if they still sell it. If they do, I'll link it down below, but um, I gotta go. Okay, 